Hey YouTube, been wanting to work on your leak code skills and also get better at Kotlin? Well today we're going to be working on the FizzBuzz classic example for interviews and we're going to be doing it in Kotlin. So let's check it out. All right. So now we have our FizzBuzz on leak code and we have just the example set up here. Nothing crazy. We have our language set to Kotlin and let's read through this example. This is a pretty classic interview problem. It's not not really asked very much today because so many people asked it during interviews and now it's kind of fallen out of favor but this one looks like if we're given an integer so we get in and we need to make a string array and return an answer and it's one indexed instead of zero indexed and if it is the answer is divisible by three and five we want to put fizz buzz if it's just three we want fizz if it's just five we want buzz otherwise we just output the string so let's see these have examples one two fizz because it's divisible by three and then five one two fizz for buzz because buzz is divisible by five i'm sorry five is divisible by five and then the bigger example down here cool well, that's fine let's jump into it so we're gonna need to know how to do some kind of a modulus or remainder uh i don't know how to do that offhand um let's see uh modulus let's see all right let's see um okay so we can just call mod uh so we need to have an empty list we'll call this our answer and this will just be our empty list uh we may need to def define string here so it knows what we're talking about and then we'll have to i know you can do repeat in kotlin and we'll say in for the number of times and then we want to apply our rules so if and else if in mod three if that is zero and in mod five is also zero and if you're not familiar with modulus what that means is the remainder after you've divided out so like for our example so if one is divided by three the remainder would be one and not zero. So if it's divisible by three or five, we would get no remainder. And so this is a pretty classic way to figure out if something is divisible. So we'll do that. That in will be the same number. We want something else. I think you can do this, where this will give you the index out of this loop. So let's change this instead to index. And yeah, let's do answer. And we can do a plus equal. So this this will create a new array for us, which is good. This is kind of Kotlin immutability. If we wanted to do like a mutable one, I think we'd have to do a val answer and a mutable list um, instead. But we want to do immutability, make things a little bit easier for us. So we will do index. No, if it's visible by both, then it's fizzbuzz. Is buzz and then otherwise our default case is gonna be my spacing here is off answer plus equals index to string to make it a string and let's run that and see where we're at oh um use rem instead okay okay so mod is not the right thing so let's use rem i guess that's remainder which makes sense all right so if we run this does this like us anymore it does not oh we need to return our answer thanks kotlin doesn't even compile if you don't do the right thing kind of nice 
All right, we have the wrong answer. We have Fizzbuzz. Doesn't seem right. Uh, let's print what indexes. All right. Oh, right. It's it's zero indexed. Okay. Let's let's not use repeat. Let's instead do just like your basic for loop here. And we'll do index in one and that'll go to in. So that should give that should have let us do the one index. I should have known that from this one index over here. I guess that was a hint. Let's do this. All right, this is good. This is good. So we did fizz buzz, but we don't have a three and a five visible. So this is okay. So let's now add those other cases. And we need else if Oh, now it's not going to copy. Come on. All right, let's do remainder five on the bottom, remainder three on this one. Answer plus equals for three, it's fizz. Answer plus equals buzz. That should be fine. Okay. All right. I think that's a pretty good solution. So we have all of our cases covered. If it's three and five, it's fizz buzz. Otherwise, if it's three, it's fizz. If it's five, it's buzz. And this is our default case. We can make, we can do some refactoring here and use a when instead. So let's grab some of this. I should make it a lot more succinct. All right. And we'll pull this up here and then grab this last one. Man, there's a lot of space on the end of that line. And then answer buzz. And this last one is our else. This should all be the same. Let's run it. See if I refactored that correctly. And we did it. All right. Submit it. Check it out. See how we did. And we're good. Awesome. That's FizzBuzz in Kotlin. If you learned something, like and subscribe, and we'll do some more of these, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.